Welcome to my channel. I'll be doing this beautiful look. Let's jump right in. Don't forget to subscribe, please. I always start every look with a lip plump, a lip gloss, um, whatever is there to moisturize my lips. Right now, I'm going to go in with my face toner. And I'm just using the Witch Hazel toner. I always make sure I tone. I put my serum my moisturizer and my sunscreen with every makeup application because it helps to prep the skin and gives you that smooth and flawless look. Going in with my serum and this is the Hydra Boost Hydrating Serum from Neutrogena. Now I'm just using my Neutrogena water gel and I'm using this specific products for my skin because I do have combination skin. Now I I'm going ahead to use my eye cream and this eye cream is from Milk Makeup. Just patting it. And then I'm using a sunscreen. This sunscreen is also pore modifying from Murat. I love this primer though. It, it's almost like the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. Next I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Berry Flawless Filter. I ended up mixing it, um, their dark foundation with the little, one that is a little lighter. And that's why I'm going in with a brush on my face. Usually, I would not <laughs> apply this much foundation before I start blending. But I did that for this look. Now I'm just using my Born This Way concealer under my eyes. I always start blending all the other areas before my under eyes just to give that concealer a little minute to sit. But I don't let it sit for too long. Because after blending it under my eyes, I'm not going to set it right away. I'm going to go ahead and do everything else before I come back to set it. So my goal this year is to post videos every day this January. Um, right now I'm starting off with just makeup videos, but I will be posting other content. I'm just going in with the darker foundation from Dior. This is a Dior Glow Foundation. And this is my failed attempt <laughs> at doing the TikTok trend, but I'm going to work it out and make it work. That's too much um, contour right there. But I'm going to blend it and make it work. Right now I'm just contouring my eyes and nose contour. Everybody contours differently and I don't contour my face and everyone else's face the same. Um, this particular technique of taking it all the way up to my brows is just something that I've gotten into and I love how it kind of acts like it lifts the face, right? And just makes my eye makeup pop some way, somehow. So, yeah. You don't have to do it that way. Then I'm giving some of that blush to my nose. I used the Undone Blush. I love their blushes, though. So. They're really pigmented and they work really well. Right now I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus powder. I always use a powder after I've done my cream products to bring everything together. Now 
Now I am going in with my beauty blender to kind of blend, pat my under eye and blend it more before going in to set it because I want to avoid creasing. So I am setting it with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Powder. And now I'm just going in with some powder and I use my Laura Mercier powder for this to bake and just have some to catch the fallout. You don't have to use this much powder. Sometimes I just over I, I just go overboard with the powder, but you don't have to use this much powder. But I will blend it in and it's going to work. So now that I've done my eyes and everything, I'm just going in to blend that powder in. If you notice, I am patting in and I would keep patting in and patting in more to that. I went in with a lot of powder, so <laughs> I'm going to pat it in for a while and make sure that it blends well. So after blending it, I'm going to enhance my contour with a bronzer. And I'm using this bronzer by Juvia's Place. It's my favorite. I also use Mocha Mami and a couple of others. But I find myself going to this Juvia's Place more often than not. I will be posting the eye and the lips makeup in another video, so stay tuned for that part. Now I'm enhancing my blush with the powder blush, still from Juvia's Place. I'm going back with just a brush to make sure that the contour and the blush blends in and have a good transition. This um, powder from Makeup Forever is like a translucent blur powder. I love to use that. It does help to give that blurry effect under the eyes. And then I am going to highlight with my Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter. I love to highlight this part of my upper lips. <laughs> I think it just emphasizes my lipstick once I do that. Right now, I'm just using my micro finishing powder by Makeup Forever to give me an all-around smooth finish then I'm going to spray with the Urban Decay All Night Spray. There it is. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.